<coughs> Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, you find me in a rather strange venue today, but uh, no matter about that, it's not my normal background, but it's my normal wonderful self, and hopefully I've got two wonderful sparkling wines here. Both Southern Hemisphere, both made in Method Champenois, Method Traditionnel, whatever you want to call them. Uh, first one is from South Africa, it's Labory Blanc de Blanc, so 100% Chardonnay, uh, 2010 vintage. So we're in December um, 2017, uh, not far short of its eighth, eighth birthday. What's it looking like at that stage in its development? It smells lovely and rich and ripe and toasty. There's a little bit of, um, uh, yeah, as well with the, the brioche, there's a little bit of pineapple in there and a bit of mandarin orange and a crystallised fruit as well as fresh fruit. It smells good. And what's lovely about it is it's got this really rich flavour uh, but then it's got uh, quite a lean finish. Uh, it's not something that just sort of goes, hello, I'm big and enormous, and forgets to be refreshing. Uh, the, so there's this, all this, this toasty richness, then this dry, uh, almost, I call it dry burnt sugar. There's a, there's a characteristic there that uh, they just, just make me think, this has been, it feels like an old wine. There's a freshness there, but there's also this knowing maturity. I'm going to have another slug. So broader a beam than a, a typical champagne, uh, well, champagne from champagne would be, but um, made in the same way with the same family resemblance, but um, a slightly stronger accent and a nice accent too. What about the second one? Uh, that's Brown Brothers, uh, non-vintage, so I have no idea how average age, uh, what average age this has. Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, Pinot Meunier uh, from the King Valley in Victoria, in the state of Victoria. Let's see what this is like. It smells like a younger wine. Uh, there's a, like a creamy, uh, ever so slightly nice cheesy edge to it. Um, smells fresh, young-ish, but it, not so young that it's, uh, it, it's, it's still in short trousers. It's, it's got a lot of, uh, feels like it's going to have a lot of flavour, but still be subtle with it. Quite a rich flavour, there's that um, creamy edge. Something very like mandarin oranges, I mentioned mandarin oranges earlier. Um, and maybe not as subtle as the, the Labory, um, probably a richer flavour, but not as subtle. I prefer the Labory, but the, the Brown Brothers is still very nice. Um, and um, this, this one does hang around, the Brown Brothers hangs around in your mouth, that, that uh, mandarin freshness. Um, and um, it's at a, no, it's not, it's not at room temperature, but uh, it's, um, it's at a tasting temperature. If I was going to serve this, I'd, I'd want to give it a bit more of a chill, but not so much, because I think uh, that uh, it, you, it's possible with wines like this to over chill them and lose some of their personality in the process. The first one I'll be having a glass of as soon as I leave you will be the Labory, but uh, I won't mind having a glass of the Brown Brothers later. See you soon.